first on KX News. Every newscast every day. Forecast first with the KX Storm Team. Putting North Dakota first. Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. This is the Tech Club at Bel Air Elementary. Hey, Tom, how's the weather? I don't know if you noticed that. They had the microphone sitting there. I mean, that was certainly a really cool uh, tech class. I'd like to go check it out sometime. And the weather, thank you guys for doing that. The weather is actually going to be okay, not great, not super cold, well, at least until next week. Now, off to the east, uh, we have the winter weather advisory. That's set to expire at midnight tonight. Then the winter storm warning, that's in Minnesota. Don't really need to worry about that. The temperatures right now, again, Okay, considering how cold we've been, this is actually one of the nicer days we've had in a while. I was talking with a friend of mine, Kathy Cobb. She farms in Delac, and she told me her grandkids have been able to go outside. It wasn't windy, temperatures are nice, nice day and everything. Don't get used to it because it is going to change, unfortunately. Right now, single digits, 10 to 15 degrees, but they're all above zero. Here's the radar and the satellite. So you can see the bands of snow close to Highway 83, obviously some light snow around Bismarck, around Jamestown. Uh, Fargo's kind of on the edge of it, and most of the storm is well off to the east. Now around the rest of the country, here's that storm, and it's kind of spinning up into the Great Lakes right now. Another storm on the Pacific Coast, that's going to be a major player, uh, part of the major player over the weekend, and still a lot of rain and snow uh, moving to the northeast, and something like 100 million people are being impacted by this storm system uh, in the eastern half of the country. So so our weather's been pretty decent. Now, if you're traveling, and I know it's only, what, Wednesday, but I just wanted to show you this. By Thursday, could be some really light snow continuing across North Dakota. So I'm going to back out of the way so you can kind of see what's happening. And so here we are Friday morning. So not a whole lot going on Friday morning, but let's say you had to head to the eastern part of the state. By Friday afternoon into Friday evening, there could be a band of snow, maybe several inches of snow in southeastern North Dakota. That's just the early part of the storm system. And then once we get into Saturday morning, now we're talking about a little more substantial snow for around Fargo, if you're heading that way. And then once we get into the weekend, the second part of the storm moves in. And uh, it, if you're going to be going to Minneapolis, you're going to have to drive through this. And then it looks like the bulk of that snow is actually going to be in Wisconsin now. Yesterday, it looked like Minnesota, so I, that would be a bit of an improvement. Our computer models are showing uh, that we'll have a fairly cloudy sky uh, tonight into tomorrow morning. By tomorrow afternoon, fairly cloudy. Uh, the temperatures will be maybe a couple of degrees cooler than what they were today. Sky might clear out a little bit Friday morning. Of course, that means colder temperatures. Here we are Friday afternoon. Could be some more snow in the south central and southeast. And there it is, you can see, uh, from Grand Forks down to Fargo, Wapiton over to Bismarck, uh, almost Harvey. Uh, looks like snow is possible. So the 72-hour planner for Dickinson, uh, hey, Saturday, 25. Wouldn't that be nice? Uh, Williston, maybe not quite that warm. Uh, nighttime lows still going below zero. Forecast lows tonight. A lot of them below zero, obviously, but it's not like the deep freeze, at least tonight. Tomorrow, daytime highs, 10 to 15 degrees as an average. Here's a look at the next seven days. And unfortunately, next week, Monday, Tuesday, we get another blast of polar air, Arctic air. It is going to be really cold again. Some of the wind chills might be as low as 40 below again, maybe Monday or Tuesday night. One more thing to show you. I know a couple of days ago, Lauren and Chad was talking about around March 4th, I saw indications of maybe a little bit of a warm up. You know, it was just like one thing. And I made real clear to say that it wasn't actually a forecast, but here's the new outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. This goes through March 6th, 90% chance of being colder than normal, so I'm going to do a take back. No, you can't do Why? that. That doesn't count. <laughs> uh, I am so Terrible wild. news. Thanks anyway, Tom.